Hi guys, I am here to just give you a room tour of my loft and um, I'm gonna start with this right here. Where This is a loft wall and then this is where I hold um, my family's um, books. Well, my kids' books are down here. And then all of that is uh, movies and there are more movies up there and some pictures and decoration from Korea that we got. Um, so next to this is my son's room. Sorry for the wobbling. Um, I'm gonna try to make this quick. So excuse his mess, they're kids and my little one is here too and so he takes out a lot of my son's um, toys also. And um, I have this mirror and in it you can see the reflection to the, to the loft wall right there. And so what I decided to do was I had um, a coffee table and some white cubics white blocks, recollections blocks. You'll see them from, you'll see them in another, uh, in a minute. Uh, but this is, I wanted to clear that wall cause I wanted to have sunlight come in from there. And of course I have my canvas that I'd like to see eventually or once in a while. And so I had stuff that was blocking it here. And then I had stuff right here because I had my desk on that side. So I decided to turn one of the bookcases on its end or on its side and put some stuff like um, I have magazines and I have uh, photo albums and then these are some scrapbook magazines that I kept Kat Von D book, some white paper, a to-do book, or uh, uh, knitting I have my collection of thickers there oh darn oh I don't know who that is so that'll stop. Sorry about that. And let's see here. I have some hardbacks that I put here. This is not all my collection, but I managed to actually put some up now, which makes me really happy. Uh, this is uh, paper stacks. And that holds all my dies, my Sisig dies, the thick ones. And I have like old banners, beads, more beads, old film. Those are blank, blank cards, the yellow, and medical cards. Uh, they have like um, terms. And uh, let's see here. So, uh, new albums. This is uh, Maggie Holmes' storybook collection, and uh, yeah, I bought it also. It's all in, in there uh, when they were doing the scrapbook steals, and that one has cardstock, the white one. And then these are all, let's see, that's cork, a stack of cork, a Disney stack, and then the rest from the white cardstock over, the thin white line. That's all Christmas paper. And then I have some... Um, pictures and old magazines, old books, and some memorabilia from Korea that I wanted to scrap. And then I have stamps, which I rarely use, but I, I have them. And I have um, glitter packs from Martha Stewart. They look like this. They're like sequins. I don't know why it takes forever to... But um, yeah, I have those and then the hexagon sequin or glitter and regular glitter and more um, sequins, I guess. No, they're like micro beads. So I have my big shot because it didn't fit in the bookcase anymore since I stood them sideways. I figured out now that these are a lot thinner in width than they are in height when they're standing on its side. So I'm glad most of my stuff fit. Uh, but some of them didn't make it like this I had on top of that red box when it was sitting uh, vertically and I've got some old pens and some some of these um, shape scissors I kept 
some and what this these are this is like one of the first purchases that I had made when I had bought scrapbook stuff and me and a friend split like 10 scissors and out of the 10 I don't know what I did if I got rid of them or if I gave them away I just ended up keeping those four um, a frame my son made this holds my knitting knitting needles and pipe cleaners but I don't kn knit all that much flashlight and then this is my son's desk which my younger youngest one got a hold of and so he wrote all over it and I don't know if the other side is the other side is cleaner so I told him that I wanted to keep that side sort of clean if I ever wanted to use it again and so this has his stuff like his pencils color pencils those are some magnet letters and then way up there is the markers and the perler beads which we try to keep away from the uh, younger one then up here I have, um, let me see if I can go this way if it'll get lighter. I have a clock that I ran out of batteries for, a state map for my son, or the United States map for my son, a hand wreath that he made like, oh, maybe three years ago. And I made that, I made that wreath a couple of years ago too. I bought that word love at a garage sale and that's my outdoors area on the windows okay so I don't have it all figured out yet because I just redid my room so under there I have a coffee table and it has some books of theirs and then that's a prize box I have old photos um, the perler bead sets and way in the back I have a basket of books back there uh, I don't know what to do with this this is all like old work and a project that a, a fail total fail and the shredder and that's like where we hold all the shredding stuff this holds all my um let's see here this cube right here holds the some of the scrap tac scrap tastic kit club packs that i got when i was a member and then these are other stacks that i might use more frequently and I have the silhouette um, cutting mats sticking out and I put the silhouette here. I have some circle dies, some photos, some, it's like a hodgepodge of stuff. Uh, Christmas decorations, I have my bucket of uh, brushes. This has some um, letter, like letter stamps. And I decided to put my glue gun and the glue sticks in a in an old candle jar that I cleaned out. And let's see here. These are all pens and markers. And then I have some fans, some decorations, some bracelets my son made when he was tiny or in preschool. And then old Heidi Swap letters, old Heidi Swap letters. And then that's also a catch-all of stuff. This is one of the newer... Um, layouts that I made I actually made that today and I'll, I have a video that's coming out this has the carousel that holds everything well that holds stuff I mainly carry the corner jumpers from your we are memory keepers the crocodile the mini attacher the ATG gun this is um nib cleaner yeah pen cleaner I've got my glues here because I still don't know this is uh, my new setup now I used to have bookcases in that like indented area in niche I don't know and so now it has my desk um, if you can tell there's a little bedside table there that I salvaged from Korea that holds all my punches and I still have quite a mess down here because I still didn't know where to put everything but um this carries a lot of stuff that I have let me see if I can shine some light if that'd be better that holds a uh, cardstock wood veneers sequins and wood veneers and Christmas sequins and then this is like my catch-all corner <laughs> I have a wreath project back there and like Christmas tags that I had and Christmas wrapping paper that I saved. This was the wrong insert that I that I bought. Also a catch-all old work from my son from his preschool. And then those are uh, Heidi Swap albums that I still haven't started. This is a uh, Canon selfie paper that I can't use anymore because my selfie doesn't work. 
This is my Christmas embellishments. It's in a uh, iris case. And then um, that's an iris case that holds four by six boxes. And I have different embellishments and Project Life cards and stuff like that. My mink I've yet to put up and I'm thinking I'm gonna put it up there. I'm not sure yet though. But this holds like my glues, little embellishment scissors. I want everything here that I need immediately. And then I have like embellishments, uh, paper, eight by 10, 11 and a half, paper, stickers, let's see here, stickers. And then these are more embellishments and then that's a catch all. And then this is all Heidi Swap stuff. Project Life cards. And then these hold, um, some mixed media and some um, Copics. Uh, what size is? What is the name of these ones? The original? No, these are refills. But I don't have the marker to them. And then this is like mixed media stuff in there. Um, and an old blade. Some of those um, rollers, the roller stamps for texture, and Amy Tangerine wood block set. Some more wooden stamps. Not gonna buy any more of those. Mm, a frame. Uh, I decided to put a layout right here. These are small embellishments. This is where I keep my glue dots and a roll of uh, foam tape. And that's red line tape that I didn't know I had. Uh, Copics. And then I have gelato. Some wood veneers are in here. Uh, I keep a gray stamp or ink pad and a black ink pad with the Heidi Swap date thing. I have the Hydrus watercolor set there that I bought on clear. It was on clearance, but um, I go back and it's like 60 bucks. I bought it for like 20. So that was a good find. Oops. Um, I have um, Tim Holtz, uh, the mini these because I like what they do and I like that they're on little sets, but now I need somewhere to hold them. Um, a watercolor set, watercolor pencils, my manuals to my camera. These are dies from Heidi Swap. And then in here I hold my enamel dots. And then this is a catch-all for like kind of, this shows me how my shine sprays, like shine spray samples. These are um, Martha Stewart um, Christmas molds. And then magnet tape, this is washi tape, this is plastic tape, correctional tape, and then page flags. And let's see here, what else is in here? Sharpener and some more uh, tape. Uh, my computer is being held here. And then this is another one of those organizational things. It has the embossing powder, ink pads, ink pads, ink pads, embossing powder, embossing powder. It's catch all catch-all drawer. That's also a catch-all drawer. It's got Brad's and old, um, the slice. Does everybody remember the slice? I have all these cards and I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, um, try and scan them and see the shapes and see if I can use them in on my silhouette. Cause I think I even have the cards, so I might even scan in the cards and see if I can do that for personal use because I like some of the shapes that are in here that I don't have in my of course I don't need them right now because I have like 4,000 cuts this is a catch-all for pictures and memorabilia and stuff um, so I need to go through these drawers also a catch-all um, also a catch-all these are feathers, feather die cuts, and some like just catch all of cuts and stuff. So I might have to go through that to dump it all out. And these are inks also. I have my washi tape here. I don't own a lot, but this I do have this, and I try to keep it in color families. Um, and then this is like my Christmas washi over here, and some right here. So that's all I have for that. And then I have a little box of buttons and some of the Jelly Roll pens are in here with my perfect, what is this? Perfect medium re-inker. I have to use, no, learn how to do use that. Cause I have the perfect, 
pearls, I think. But anyway, these are um, American Crafts markers and pens. Roller date stamps and roller fray stamps and a dauber. And then uh, one of those, like, positive... I like the typography. I like the uh, the wording. I like the pictures. So I like to look at it once in a while. These are trays that I bought at the dollar spot and they hold uh, die cuts and stuff when I'm scrapbooking uh, push pins. And then uh, it's, it's also a catch-all for all my random stuff. So I'm gonna... Um, I ended up having a empty space so I put my... what do you call that? That roller suitcase for when you go to scraps and then I also have my my camera case and my old camera case there and then that's also work from my son um, and then here is my sewing machine table that has books and more books and those are empty boxes that I think I'm going to get rid of I don't know where to put that box yet here's my sewing machine and this is also a catch-all box, which I have to get rid of. And then underneath I have my Christmas cards that I'm working on. This holds the spools of string. Here's a rain stick and then one of my son's work. And then I have another easel with some of the most current um, layouts that I have made. And I've made videos for some of these, most of these. Um, and then they'll just change as I make new work or as soon as I get more inserts because I don't have any. And then this is the last part of it. Um, this holds, that purple box has, uh, is empty. The yellow box has um, acrylic paints. This big book is heavy and it's blank. So I might start using that for mixed media. And then this is stuff my husband is working on. That's his old model planes. And then these are projects that are done or am working on. This is a um, scrapbook album that I already finished for my brother. And there's my December daily that I didn't finish. Selfie that doesn't work. Hard drive that I have old photos in. Um, these are new uh, binders. This is a Heidi, two of the Heidi Swap ones. And then this is a hexagon quilt that my mom and I started <laughs> when my son was born and he's nearly three. So um, it just holds, what is it? Uh, paper piercing hexagons for a quilt. And so that's what this is. It's We found some scrap material at Goodwill. This is a Korean CD from a Korean artist, and so is that one, my, the Ellison, what is this one called, the mini kick or whatever, a little school bus book, a camera, and then this is uh, pictures of when I had my son. I have uh, more embellishments here, and then the Project Life boxes, and my scrapbook albums, and that one is a empty box that's getting out of here, and then this brown one is an arm or something for <laughs> a sewing machine. So that's an overview of my scrapbook room. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, um, I'm hoping, one thing I am hoping to do eventually, one, one of these days, is um, put shelving here. If I decide to keep the desk here, or if I get a new desk, because this is an L-shaped desk and I usually don't like it to um, come to the end this way or I don't want it on this end either because I don't want to cut the room um, like in half or close it off it just seems weird to me so that's my scrapbook room you guys I hope you enjoyed I wish I would have remembered to do it before and then and after but um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye